Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Philip McMillan, and I'm bringing you some breaking news at the moment. And I'm outside of my schedule because I think this is important. And I'll share with you what is coming up. The news is essentially that what is happening in Japan is on the 14th of October 2025, Japan declares a flu epidemic what this means for other nations. This is in nature, and uh, it's making reference to the fact that health, Japan's health authorities have declared an influenza epidemic. Thousands of people are infected with the respiratory virus. Now, if anyone has been following me, they will note that I've been talking about this kind of thing for the past few weeks. Actually, especially since I had discussed with Gravicon, which is a highly evasive Omicron. Now, this, I think, is a very serious point because what I think is happening is that we are having two things happening at the same time. We're having significant spread of COVID at the same time as we're having spread of influenza is what they call a co-infection so the people who are probably first hit with covid immune suppression then they are hit with influenza they can't fight it off they have low symptoms because of interferon suppression they therefore are unwell and spreading it before they even know and therefore they're spreading it all around this is the premise that i had said with regards to hivicron and this was the presentation I had done at that time, preparing for the next phase of the COVID storm. And based on everything that I am seeing here now, what we have to prepare for is not necessarily just COVID, but COVID with other infections. When I'd done that presentation, I had focused on the full spectrum of disease presentation, persistent infection immune dysregulation, smoldering inflammation, metabolic collapse, and then end-stage viral sepsis. And the population is in a number of these groups. And what we're seeing in Japan, it seems, is in this region of immune dysregulation and smoldering inflammation. What is going on? So just so that you have the information on the the recent um, uh, stuff that is happening here. So again, um, this was another headline here in the past couple of days. Um, this was a flu outbreak in Japan, 4,000 cases, schools are closed, should you be worried? Reports are indicating that Japan is experiencing the flu season about five weeks earlier than normal raising concerns about changes in the behavior of the virus post-pandemic world. What they're not saying there is that it's, just, it's suggesting that the immune system has been damaged at a population level. I won't say by what. There is clearly an elephant floating around in the room, but some people can't recognize it. But immunity seems to have been damaged. And in terms of the other um, news headline. Again, this was from today. This is why I'm sharing this a little bit late. New pandemic coming. Japan declares nationwide flu outbreak over 4,000 hospitalized. If there's one lesson we have learned from COVID is that if it is happening in one part of the world, because there is ongoing travel, you are guaranteed that it is going to follow everywhere else. This was also occurring in India. And I literally covered this about two weeks ago. So India in Delhi was having an unusual influenza outbreak where 69% of households had someone infected with influenza. And my point was, this seems to be a pattern that is occurring globally. I don't know how we're going to address these issues if there is no honesty as to why this is likely to be happening. As I had pointed out before, when you look at the immune system and the overview of it, it's like an army. Tanks, 
soldiers and marines, air force, missiles and artillery, navy. This is the overview of what your immune system is like. And guess what happens after you've had COVID? You end up with this kind of picture where the spike protein disables immune cells because they can get non-productively infected. They are present, but they are not active. And then you end up with a situation like this, a deplete, depleted immune team without T cells, without B cells, without natural uh, killer cells to fight off a virus. This then opens the door for all other viruses to spread. And we didn't see this before. And so this is it's probably indicative as to how damaged population immunity is at the moment. So here is my simple advice. We have a lot of people who are at the moment primarily focused with regards to COVID. Now, this is where I know a lot of my audience um, are probably not supportive of vaccination at the moment, certainly COVID vaccination, but this is one time where actually, when I thought about it, I'm focused more on the influenza vaccine. Now, truthfully, I'm not a, I, I know that there are limitations with it, but certainly in the high risk population, I am thinking that this is one of the few things that may make a difference. So if you have a loved one who is in the high risk category, the older with comorbidities, they probably really need to seriously think about an influenza vaccine. And the reality is that we are in a situation where they have given no tools in the toolbox. This is pretty serious stuff. So for me to be saying this means that I think that this may be one of the last tools, and I don't even know if you have significant immune suppression, I don't even know if it will necessarily work. But at this point, I think that there is very little else that can be done. Because essentially what I'm, I've predicted is happening is that when you look at the gates of your house, normally, your immune system is like the security. You have gates, you have security guards, you have cameras. What seems to have happened now is that the guards are immobilized, the gate is open. This is free reign for viruses to walk in. Your only option in this situation, therefore, may be to try and stimulate some protection in the house. This is for people quite frankly, who have had their immune systems damaged to a certain degree, or if they have comorbidities that are putting them at higher risk. We are in a difficult time at the moment. And the truth is that nobody wants to acknowledge why this is occurring. And so therefore, they are going to leave it in a nebulous way as to what's going on. Oh, this is just another variant of some influenza virus, they're going to find there is no unusual pattern about this influenza virus. Similar to what happened in India, the virus was not much different, but it was spreading far more effectively in the population. So when you are going to educate your friends, your family and neighbors, here is what you tell them. COVID is still circulating, but it's circulating quietly. The reason it's circulating quietly is because the COVID infection suppresses interferon, which is the marker or the signal, the alarm that tells your immune system to act. The immune system is now so suppressed because of ongoing COVID circulation that when other viruses come along, it still is not responding. So therefore, there is no alarm system. People are therefore walking around with influenza. Normally, you get symptoms. You're only contagious for about 24 hours. Then you feel sick and you stay at home. What happens if because of interferon suppression, they are still contagious, but walking around for three or four days 
and therefore infecting everyone else around them, that's how you get this influenza to be circulating. So we are coming to a point where I will be soon advising that definitely the vaccinated cohorts seem to be at higher risk, but they are going to be putting everyone at risk. You need to find ways to protect yourselves. One of the most effective things that I keep on talking about is nitric oxide in the sinuses. It is antiviral, it is antibacterial, it is anti-inflammatory, and you can control it just by humming. If there is anything you do, please remember to share this around for this winter period. Humming Heroes, a beautiful, simple story that teaches people the science of nitric oxide and how it can protect your upper airways from circulating viruses, because this is where we are. If this is happening in India and this is happening in Japan, expect it to happen in Europe and the Americas very soon as we move into winter. I'd like to be wrong, but sadly, everything here is pointing to the fact that we're going to be facing a difficult time in the next few months. Be prepared. A hero, an immune adventure. Humming Heroes, your lyrical guide to the body's defenders. Now on Amazon. Check the links below.